Hello, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how you can use the discretize uh, option in the Weka machine learning workbench. So what's the discretization? When you have selected features from our previous tutorial, we have seen that we have some feature values and they are scattered, really scattered from, they range from minus 2.54 for example to infinity or sometimes there are no values for example NAN. But for some classifying algorithms, uh, this has been proved that they work well when uh, you discretize your values, feature values. So uh, what, uh, what is a discretization? It means that you are going to use a predefined uh, set of intervals uh, and you are going to group your feature values according to those uh, v interval values. So that's what a disc discretization means. So in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how you can use the discretize a filter in Weka machine learning workbench. So in this tutorial I'm going to use the diabetes.arff file and you can see that we have uh, nine, in, nine features in this uh, particular R file and we have some features called prec, plus, press and so on. I don't know the many of, the, of those feature names but we have to just stick with this example. And our ninth uh, feature is our classification feature. Either they, uh, it classifies those instances either as positive instances or negative instances. So you can see that if I select any of the attributes here, for example, number two plus, you can see that we have the selected attribute pane uh, provides you the information about this particular attribute. And we have uh, minimum values, maximum values, mean of those values and standard deviation and so on. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to classify that with a classifying algorithm called naive base. I'm, I'm using tenfold cross validation and I click start. So we have 76% 76, 76 F measured as a weighted average and this has been proved that naive base works well when you dis discretize your values, your feature values. That means you have scattered feature values and now you're going to group them according, some, uh, according to some uh, predefined uh, set of interval values. So in order to do that, you have to select the filter, wake up filter, and supervise filter, attribute filter, and then you select discretize. And you have plenty of options like this, attribute in indices, inverse selections, and so on. But I'm going to use the default one, and I'm, I'm leaving you guys with these other options to play with. So for this tutorial sec, sec I'm, I'm going to stick uh, with uh, only the default uh, setup. And I apply discretize, and you can see that things have changed a lot. Now if I select the number two attribute called class, you can see that instead of mean and standard deviation, minimum and maximum values for your particular data set, you have some ranges. For example, minus infinity to 99.5, You in this range you have 197 instances and 154.5 to infinity, positive infinity, you have 122 instances in your data set uh, for this particular uh, attribute called class and you have this uh, for other instances or for other features uh, as well. So now I'm going to do is I'm going to use the same classifier again, standard tenfold cross validation with naive base and you can see that the F measure has jumped to 77.9 from 76. This was the previous result, 76% F measure and this is uh, the latest result, 77.9%. So that means that naive base particularly works well for this particular data set if you use discretization rather than using scattered values of uh, features.